Okay, so the next thing that we're going to learn uh, is buttons, how to resew buttons. And so this is a real basic and obviously very handy thing to know how to do. So um, I just grabbed a bag of my own buttons. Um, of course, I have a ton of them. And so we're just going to dump this out and give a little look real quick at all of the nice buttons that we've got here. There are a couple different kinds of buttons. So depending on what you're making or what you're repairing, there could be lots of different things. Um, this, uh, this button has two holes in it. Um, there are quite a few buttons here that have four holes. Uh, some of them are kind of decorative and weird. This one's pretty. And um, there are lots of different things. This is called a shank button. As you can see, there's not a hole on the top, but on the back, there is a place to sew it on. This one also was a shank button. Um, and those are basically, if you're going to break it down into two types, you know, there's the regular buttons, um, so on, and then the shank button. And so we're going to learn how to do one of each so that you know how to um, sew buttons on or repair buttons, however you want to do it. So I've grabbed a real boring button here <laughs> that we're going to we're going to demonstrate with for the four hole button. And um, one of the things that we are going to change up is, remember in the first video, I had talked about using a single thread versus a double thread and how we were using a single thread to do the other stitches that we learned. Well, at this point, we're going to transition over to a double thread. The reason that we're doing that is, like I said, um, the single thread is for pretty and the double thread is for strength. When you're sewing on things like buttons and snaps, um, having them be strong is really important. Um, what probably, if you've had repair a button on a garment, happens is during manufacturing, uh, manufacturers have specific sewing machines, like a specialty sewing machine, that sews buttons on. Um, the person slides the button and the fabric under there and pushes a button and it it just does it, do, 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 you know, it sews it on and, and they push it out. The problem with those is that it doesn't really knot the thread afterwards. And as we know, um, knotting the thread is really important. And so um, that's how come the buttons on uh, mass manufactured clothing and a lot, especially if it's like low end, um, the buttons fall off very easily. And so it's good for you to know how to replace the button when it when it happens. Sometimes if you lose a button and if you look on the inside of the garment, if it's a ready-made garment, you'll see that um, they've put an extra button uh, inside the garment hiding along the side seam or maybe on the tag that's a spare one for you to use if you ever need it. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to start out with the double thread. So I've threaded the needle just like always, but I've taken... Um, both ends of the thread so it's double the whole way down okay and I'm gonna match those up I'm gonna tie a knot just like we did before and whatever your preferred method is now what I'm doing specifically on the buttons for right now which I will show you why in the snaps is that when I tie my knot I'm leaving a little bit of a tail here and it's for a reason um, so go ahead and do that and this is probably different from the way that you were taught to sew uh, buttons on so we're gonna do that I've got my knot there, you can see, and what we're gonna do is sew on this four hole button. So you start out by bringing your, um, your knot, you know, from the underneath side and um, take it through. I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna stick the needle through. I am so sorry that my cat is losing its mind, by the way. Um, I'm not going to be able to edit that out. So just so you know, my cats are extremely angry with me um, at the nerve of me locking myself in a room. Uh, that's your entertainment for this lesson. Um, so the, the button is just on here. And we're going to take it across to the other hole and back through. Then I'm going to come up into the other set of holes. Sometimes it takes a second to get it lined up because you can't really see from the back side and back through. Now, I'm going to repeat this about three times. So I'm going to go over again. 
back to this set. If you want to do all three on this side and then the three on that side, you can do it that way. Um, and it, it is a no law that it has to be three. Um, I find that that works out best. Um, that seems to anchor it down fairly well without it um, being too much, you know, but it, it will anchor it down for you pretty nicely. Now, you might wonder, um, I'm sure you may have seen buttons before, that the threads um, make an X instead of the two straight lines. And which way is the right way to do that? And the answer is that there isn't um, really a right way. If you're repairing a pre-existing garment, just re-sewing a button back on, and the other buttons are sewn as an X, well, yeah, you probably want to sew yours like an X also so that it matches and it blends back in. I've just sewn this one as um, a straight across. It doesn't really matter. And you will have other people tell you or videos tell you that there's a right way and a wrong way. Overall, there are bigger things to worry about than whether or not your buttons are sewn on as an equal sign or an X. So I've done this through three times. Um, and this is why um, I'm going to show you back here. I'm going to take this tail that we left long and I'm going to use that just to tie a square knot like you would tie any other knot, you know, using if you're tying a knot in anything else. And I'm going to make more than one there because I don't want this to go anywhere. I'm just going to tie it in a knot back there. That's why we left that extra on the back. Um, and then you can cut off the extra thread and your button is really secure that way okay um, the shank button is not a lot different let me put another knot in here uh, the shank button is not a lot different um, the only difference is that you kind of have to bend your fabric a little bit to get it to uh, be able to be secure on there So we're going to pick out one of these shank buttons that's pretty. And what, um, what I will do in the costume shop is just leave out a bag of buttons. Uh, you can dig through and find two buttons that you like um, out of our little stash of um, friendless buttons. And so you can um, just pick out two that you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to start out the same. So, you know, the but it's back here. And let's see. This one's nice, okay, so this has got the shank on the back that's just a plastic shank. And I'm gonna stick the needle through the hole here. Okay, so now I've got it like this. Um, I'm gonna stick my needle back through close to, not right on top of, but close to where the first stitch is, okay. When I stick my needle back through, now I'm kind of, you know, it's a little bit more awkward because it's in the way, but I can actually kind of fold the fabric from the back side and get it to go through the knot there. Um, and I can feel it. I can feel that the bump from the shank is there. So I can sew it on that way. You can sew it on from the top side. It's just that you have to... Let me show you how to do it from the top side. When you're sewing the stitch, you have to kind of stick it in there and then try to figure out, you know, then you stick it all the way through and back down. And I also do that about three times. So you just want to attach it that way. I'm going to do the same thing on the back. I left some extra string or, you know, the extra thread at the end. So I'm going to tie this in a secured knot on the back side of it before I cut the thread. Um, that will secure it really well for you. Usually when buttons fall off, it's not because the thread broke. It's because it came unknotted. So getting a good knot when you sew buttons on is really key to making them stay on there. So that is how we do buttons. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you snaps, and you're also going to be using the double thread for snaps. So go ahead and load up more thread.